Yeah. Okay, we're talking about it. Yeah, we're talking about Thanksgiving. <laughs> so we're so excited about the food and all that, but you know what? It's the busiest day in the kitchen of the year, and things can go wrong. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Cooking the big Thanksgiving meal, whether you're a seasoned veteran or a first-time turkey maker, it can be difficult and sometimes dangerous, as we unfortunately report on. Joining us to talk more about being safe in the kitchen is Misty McClellan with the Red Cross. Misty, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for being Thanks with you us. having me. I we were just kind of talking about <laughs> just all the things um, uh, to be safe in the kitchen. We talk about it. Practicing it is a different story. What do you do if you have a fire, a dish catches fire in the kitchen? Well, I'll tell you, the, the day before Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving Day are, in our country, the two days that you are most likely to have a home fire. Yes. The majority of home fires start in the kitchen, in the kitchen. Wow. Uh, wow. by cooking. So it's little things like um, paying attention. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on. Because you're so distracted. There's so many distractions. Family, fun things, the parade, great people on TV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you um, go. But <laughs> <laughs> just paying attention, making sure that you've got your plan. There's not um, a bunch of uh, wrapping or, or pot holders or mm -hmm. things close things to the flame. Things the walls, yeah. Um, and have, have that pre-planning piece in place. So what do you do if a fire breaks out mm -hmm. on the stove does or it the depend on what type of fire yeah, yeah. absolutely okay. it absolutely does but the first thing is make sure you have your fire extinguisher Get, and the, I don't have one. I feel so guilty available. right now. Yeah. yeah, I have one. I don't know if I know how to use it. I actually know how to use okay, it. Okay, I'm going to get one today. They, like, this these is are on the my easiest list. things that we can do to yes. mitigate and to, to go into the season a little safer. Get mm -hmm. it. Get it out of the box. Read the instructions. Mm -hmm. Pull that pin. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's not as intimidating as it sounds, yeah. but it's the first, it's your first step. Make mm -hmm. sure that you've got these things uh, in your kitchen. You've okay. got the people that are working with you in your kitchen. They also know what's going what on. To do. Mm -hmm. Okay, you, step two. Yeah. Make sure that uh, this isn't, t we're not talking about food safety, but make sure that turkey is thawed before you throw that in the grease. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've seen all of those uh, videos about how that fire just comes right up. Mm -hmm. So inside or outside, just make sure that we're going through, following all of those, uh, those safe practices that you've learned from, from how to cook your turkey, mm -hmm. make sure it's all thawed, make sure you've got your fire safety equipment in the kitchen, uh, and make sure that you are educated, that you know, mm -hmm. you know, don't put um, don't put water on a, a grease fire. Mm -hmm. Don't do don't use a hand towel. Exactly. I think your first in mm -hmm. instinct, instinct is like yeah. get a, get a towel. Cover you it. do it, and then that catches on fire. It is, and then you're slinging uh, flames. And yeah, when you've got children or animals or other family members it can get running out of around, control it can, quickly. It can, can get it? out of control very quickly. It yeah. seems like those turkey fryers too that everyone you know that kind of has been the the big trend. Mm -hmm. It seems like we talk about a lot of even outdoor fires uh -huh. when you are cooking that bird as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and those too can get out of control really really fast. So just make sure that um, if you have this conversation with your family, you've got your plan in place. Uh, don't ever go back into a burning home. Mm -hmm. Get out, get your people out, make sure you've got your escape plan, call for help immediately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, 1-800-RED-CROSS uh, slash fire has more tips, more safety tips, really? okay. and some videos and some other things that can help walk you through uh, this crazy fun holiday. It's kind of crazy to talk about, but every year we report on some type mm -hmm. of incident, fire injuries happening, so it's a great conversation. And this is why I order out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, home, fires, home fires are the biggest thing that we respond to in, in our region. So yeah. it's it, very important to just pay attention, take a little breath, go a little slower. Yes. Yeah. Misty, thank, thank you, you for coming in. Great advice it. today. Thank you so much. Red Cross has great advice. And also, there's a hotline in case you need to call for 